Oh no, now they're gonna cleanse the effects. Alright, well we can't win now. I had one chance. I had molded in that hand, yeah, and I molded like my I molded the dreg that was like the best burnout dreg that I had. But I can see that I draw into molded and I could let my draft die and bring it back. And then maybe that gives enough damage to win. I think that would have been enough actually. So how do we win this chase when it cleanses all units of effects and the best awoken strategy is spikes in region. Yeah, I think that was enough, Loggy. I think that was enough. I I thought about putting draft millions to let it die, and then I wasn't sure if I was going to get molded, but I didn't check my draw. I could have saw that mold is coming up. And then I would have uh, had the, a 30 times 2 draft with 3 burnout. I think that's enough. Yeah, that would have been enough. Damn. Okay. Healing spells cost zero, uh, negative 1. Molten encasement and razor sharp edge. I mean, how do we beat this boss? Wax spells don't give a crap about yeah. Like so, wax. If you have like good wax scaling, yes, they don't care about the boss. Doing this. Oh, it's forever flame, isn't it? So now we have Edge Prior, 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 and we have Forever Flame, so we can put energy into spells and spells, like we can, we can use energy pretty efficiently with Forever Flame, and that means we can do things like Pip Space, and we can do things like Card Draw, Forever Flame is pretty solid. Card Draw or Spikes, Card Draw or Spikes, oh I like the Spikes, but she gets rid of Spikes, yeah, the boss gets rid of Spikes. Uh, there's a lot of thinking I have to do right now. Mm. My camera's too large right now. Oh, Yo, John Trollo, thanks for tier one sub, man. What's up, Trico? Okay. Yeah, Spikes is pretty good. It's really good early game, but it's bad against Seraph, right? So what do we do here? But here's the thing, like, section out is good this time, and the draw works really well. Forever Flame, okay. I kind of like this rectangle. Isn't this rectangle kind of cool, guys? It's kind of a uh, move, uh, movie esque, or should we say, cinema esque? The ratio is kind of cool. Like, I got all this movement of space. I probably should cut it in half. Wait, rectangle? Oh, like rectangle is what you're saying? It's the rule of thirds. I'm in love with the rule of thirds. We have three different segments we can be in. The rule of thirds. All right, non-boss enemy units gets plus four. Um, well, here's the thing. I didn't take spikes. If I took spikes, yes, okay. But I didn't take spikes. I didn't take spikes. My health is pretty high, though. Alright, we can do this. I mean, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> Yikers. Oh, I can do Richard Edge on her? Um. I want to give it to my healing pri prior. Hell yeah. 
We don't have molded each time. JP's loving that. JP, JP's writing that in his notebook. JP's taking notes right now. JP's taking notes. I see it right now. He has notebook out, pen out. He's ready. He's ready to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, guys? Guys, I need your spikes. I have an idea. Two damage at a time. Wait, that's not very smart. Yeah, okay. But like to be honest, like because of the nature of the um Oh, easy. It's easy. No problem. Uh, it was a problem. Little did Jeremiah know this was the beginning of the end. I like Restoration Detonation. This is good against the boss, right? But this is like pretty pitiful scaling. This should just give me some good healing, which also gives me some damage. I think I think I like this card. I like it less now that I looked at the art. I just realized there's like some weird sport things. Look at this. Look at this. You guys, look, look at the middle. Tell me you're not grossed out. Look at the middle. What the hell is that? What are those? So the ability to reform units. Yes. Okay, we have options. Animus of Will. The multi strike is good for Razor Sharp. Susceptible to spikes and sweep. Guys, sweep is back. This is a good damage unit. We've got to buff up the, the health, right? So we want to buff up our animus, or yes. Okay, look at the store first. We've got quick spikes, battlestone. Battlestone looks good on animus. I said, damn. Okay, let's take a look at the unit. Oh, we got quick sweeper. Oh my god, this deck is good already. Holy shit! All right. All right, do we have gold for this? This goes on Animus, yeah, almost always. And who wants spikes? I have no one for spikes. I'm so sad. Spikes is such a good upgrade. And no one can use it. I think putting Battlestone on her is more important because she needs to stay alive. Put Spikes in a steward. Yeah.
She won't have a tank though? What do you mean? What do you mean she won't have a tank? Yeah, I, I, I never played this combo when I was in low ascension, so yeah, I don't have any wins in this, this combo yet. Going for buff stewards? Yeah, I did the prototype. It's good early game, but they're still not as good as... I mean, this could be good early game, yeah. So you want to put shell behind champ, but don't we... Don't we didn't we discuss you want shell in the mid lane because the champ wants to get hit? Because of revenge? Didn't we discuss this last last game as well? That we put shell in the mid lane? Which is still a better bang for your buck to put shell bot lane. Probably a better bang for your buck anyways. So we just gotta find another tank for her then. We gotta find tank for Animus and basically put her like in uh, mid or top lane. And we can use her in the top lane to scale her up a razor sharp edge or something. As long as there's no sweeper and spikes. Thing is, if we put the sweeper in the mid lane, he won't really get slay most of the time. But if we blast 10 armor, he can slay in the mid lane easier because they'll be buttered up from the bot lane. Right? Or oh, is this too detrimental? We're already, we're already at 25 life. To be honest, we're already at 25 life. This seems kind of hard. There's an Awoken banner here with magic upgrade. I think I want the Awoken... I want to get Awoken unit anyways, right? Do we, what what spells do we want to upgrade, though? We don't really want to upgrade spells. We don't have any gold. So I kind of want the artifacts and patterns remain, and then... And then there's another uh, Awoken Banner over here with a duplication. Ah, it's tough. We get duplication with, over here in this area, but the thing is... I actually do want Merchant of Steel again because I want to upgrade my units a little bit further. But maybe not yet. Maybe it'll go for now. Yeah, it would be good. It would be really good stuff to upgrade. The holdover would be fantastic, but I don't have gold for that. I think if we do this trial, it's going to be too hard. If I put the sweeper now, I can avoid these blights. All right. <laughs> he does to burn out anyways, right? Sixteen times three. I almost have lethal here. Dude, the quick sweeper is nuts. I love it. Alright, we still second floor is game over. Twenty-four times three. Are taking the trial? Yeah, maybe I should have done the trial. Fuck. I'm being a pansy. I'm very, I'm lacking the confidence right now. I'm underestimating myself. 
I'm afflicted by the pansy syndrome right now. Someone save me. I want to see something. One sec. It feels like my camera's lagging. I'm definitely lagging right now. I mean, hindsight's 2020, by the way. What do we want here, if anything? Do we want targeted damage with Fine Grasp? Or we want Glimmer for... I mean, we have a week covered, right? So I don't think we want Glimmer as much. <clears throat> Voice crack. Vine Grasp is like targeted damage that can be useful to maneuver things around, but also not that great. This looks like a skip to me. This feels like a skip. More molded? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Artifact Pyre Help Tavern. I don't have I don't have that much gold for immersion of magic. I mean I have enough gold to get like holdover for molded or um Yeah. I think for me it's artifact and healing. That's pretty good. I, I don't mind plus three health here. Thorn fruits. People like thorn fruit. People are like, oh man, you get a sting every turn. I like that. They 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 love it. But I, I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I'm them. It's good against the consumer guy. That's true. I have units that want to stay alive a little bit longer. Oh, wait. Wait, is this it? Is Dante back? All right, boys. Dante's back. See, last time, I'm going to with you guys, aka YouTube audience. We got approached by Dante, and he was very powerful. And I, I messed it up. But this time, I won't let him down. Don't worry, I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, he will. And before we die, Day Dallas. Oh no. We gotta win this, boys. We gotta win this. Okay. Quick Sheeper, where you at? Alright, so do we put Animus in mid lane or. Against the answer, reforming enemies. Start giving the enemies burnout. You think so? You think I can give enemies enough burnout to make it worthwhile? You think so? I should mention though. Boom chakalaka. Boom boom chakalaka.
I should mention Dante's pretty good with the card draw right here because Dante's gonna give you blights. So you guys see these candles, right? I'm gonna have blights in my deck. So the the sentient allows me to draw out some of the bad curses in my deck, so to speak, and still gain the power from Dante. And you don't know what I'm talking about yet, but you're gonna see what I'm talking about soon. The card draw is gonna help offset Dante's problems. My sheep is getting some slay. And Twitch audience is actually they're like they're they're kind of confused. They're wondering why I'm talking in the Wait. Wait a minute. Hmm. Which slot for healing power? This slot right here? Talk about this slot? Talk about this slot, Alagia? Uh, this one right here? Yeah. I, I, Burnout Union is no big deal. It's sure molding. I give my guy one less slay, but I give my guy a lot more health, and that's worth it. Oh, look at the slay, look at the slay, look at the slay, look at the card draw, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Dude, my animus is getting big. Getting large. The only problem is that I get less card drop as a result. Okay. I'm hoping that Animus is enough to win. I don't have a good tank for it. Animus should be enough to win, right? Was it? Yeah, I think Animus should be enough to win. Okay, these are, man, these are some interesting options. A Harvest, Devourer of Death, Quick, and Formless Child. Formless Child Dante? How is Formless Child Dante going to work though? It's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to make it hit Dante. How about devour death? Can we, how can we make this pop off? So when a unit dies on this floor, when this dies it does um 
15 damage, so it does 15 times the amount of uh, souls or per death that has died on that floor. Has anybody made this work? You can, also, you can always bring Devourer of Death back. Wait, why, why is my... You guys can't see me. You can always bring Devourer of Death back and then... um. Huh. What is... Quick has good targets, right? So Quick would be good on Animus, I guess. Quick could be good on Animus for sure. He doesn't keep the soul count. Former child. Don't you've gone to me twice. Like I, I like former child. So what can Hollow because we want to sink for the top lane, yeah? We wanna we wanna have a sink in the top lane? And remove everything else. Cause in a pinch we want to bring something back in the top lane to do damage. Or tank in the mid lane for enemies of anything. So we want pip space then, yeah? So we don't need that much energy costs. We don't really have a way to make energy like last time. Last time we had like engraft and things like that. We don't have that this time. But I still think Pipsy would be pretty good. Because our healing spells are also free. So if we were to duplicate, I really want to prioritize removal, but if we were to duplicate, what would it be? Duplicate a candle? <laughs> now nah, this is my day job which is why we got to hit these daily sub goals yeah duplicating dead weight for those purposes yeah true true if you want to make a dante deck we could just do like a dead weight His thought gives you magic power. What would that be good for? Okay, can I say, look, what would we upgrade, Merchant of Steel wise? We want to upgrade the Hollow, maybe. Maybe another upgrade for Animus. Maybe give an upgrade to Formless Child, like Endless. So we want. We want Endless on Formless Child. Most of the time. And we probably want to get any upgrade on Shattered Shell or Animus. I'm not very picky. I mean, if I get a multi track for Animus, it will. That'd be pretty nice. Maybe like a Spikes or something for Awoken Hollow. Maybe more health. I mean, anything would be nice. But gold wouldn't be bad either. Um, endless on From a Shot would be good. We have a lot of good targets. Um, the thing is, I get to remove, and I do want to remove. So, because my deck. It desperately wants to get rid of these train stewards. It desperately wants to get rid of these train stewards. Grid are, are really bad curses right now. I mean, they're curses that I can play. and they, I can play them and get them out of my deck. And let them die or whatever. Oh, South Gold incoming. Yo, thank you, man. South Gold incoming. The Noors. Five months, tier one. Thank you, man. So let's take a look at some of this. So let's take a look at the shop. Large stone. That's a sick emote. I love it. Dante wanted large stone. We can always find it again. Who wants large stone in this deck? Boom! What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I 
I'm gonna put this on my tank. Yes, I walk in Hollow wants the health. And then I give this to my sweeper so he gets he starts my sweeper starts going off sooner. Man, these upgrades are sick. I wanna see some gold for them. I mean, you know, oh, I forgot to check out the unit. I forgot to check out the unit. We don't care about these units. <laughs> yeah, on my PC, it worked out. Arthur, Arthur's thing worked out. All right. I think we can do this trial because we do a lot of damage. Do we agree? Guys, can we get a nice in the chat for uh, 69 HP? Let's get a nice with the period at the end. Hey, what's up, try you? Oh, they have haste. Nice. <laughs> All right. Where's my sheeper? I need my sheeper. Oh, so clutch, so clutch. This guy does. This guy does zero damage. So I don't care if he goes up. So clutch. Animus right here. Is, is it just? Is, is GG already? Wait, it's already GG? Our deck is nice. Guys, I think we're getting better at the game. I don't know what you guys, I think we're making better decks. Formless Child, make him die. Wait. Promise Shadow has one target only. And it's a Dreg. That's a beefy Dreg. Wait, the Dreg's actually really good because I can kill these things easier. Can't, I can't wait till we get Dante, guys. You guys are going to love Dante. This is such a free, this is such a free trial. We, did, we finished remove every unit except for Dante. Uh, I think we just win the game. All right, YouTube, I'm doing this for you. you better appreciate it. Wait, I can't fit. I can't fit from the child. This is awkward. It has one burnout, so this is really good. It dies for free, but I can't fit it anywhere. It just dies for free. Damn. <laughs> okay, 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 wait. Wait. That's it? Wait, I have an animus ready to go. Okay, something about the revenge mechanic takes way too long to do animate, so I gotta speed this up. Firebox. That's interesting. Do we take this for gold? In all honesty, do we take the gold? Think I'm rating the capacity relic higher now than I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Do we actually need this? More card draw restoration. Wait. My edge prior makes it cheaper. This is pretty good. Yeah. But this gives us energy though. This gives us energy with edge prior. Yeah, I think Sarah, I think Sarah's space is pretty good. Uh, try though. We can't get ice cream because it's only Hellhorn artifacts. Ah, she cleanses regions, right.
Wait, do we ever do Wicked Blaze for uh, Dante? Or do we ever do, like, Memories from Energy? Because we have a lot of cards, so maybe this energy is good. You think this is bloat? In a pinch to have some energy? We have so much card draw. Energy to play... I don't need energy for anything. You're right. I don't need energy for anything. Okay, here it is, boys. Pucker up. The mysterious figure returns, this time much more composed than last you met. Ah, my loyal friend, what a pleasure to see you again. Please excuse my manners, but before I was rather occupied at the time. My name is Dante, a collector of rare artifacts and renowned pain in the ass to all those with wings. At your service. Now, I do appreciate your help in my time of need. I was able to evade those insufferable creatures thanks to your help. And for carrying the load, I think I'll join you. If you'll have me, of course. We will have you. Get Dante's Cloak and Dante the Deceptive. When played, gain a stack of multi-strike for each blight card in your deck. Also, plus two magic power for every blight card in your deck. Now you guys are thinking, why are you so hyped about that? And if you're thinking that, well, I don't know why you're thinking that, but let me explain. Alright, how many blight cards do we have? One, two, three, four. He's going to get four multi-strike. Can I duplicate Dante? Wait. I really want to remove cards that are not Dante. Wait, what's, what's a better duplicate target? Um, now, it makes Engraft kill for nine? Oh my god, Dante, you're so good. Oh, my heal... Restoration detonation heals for 18 and does t times 5. Restores are healing for 10. Oh, Dante, Dante. Okay, so... But if there's anything to duplicate, maybe for consistency's sake, it would be engraft. But other than that, we don't really want to duplicate. We just want to remove everything. Alright, let's remove everything. Bye. I think I like traits. No, I was gonna say I like him better than Dregs, but nah. Let's see what this has to offer. Yeah, I'm only Covenant sixteen. I'm gonna give my health. I love this artifact. Oh, it's so good. We deemed you worthy. So now we want to set up in top lane, right? Wait, wait, I want to see somebody upgrade Dante, right? Wait, I want to see somebody. Before I move, I want to upgrade Dante. So, Merchant of Steel and. Oh my god, the next one's perfect. It's Merchant of Steel and Removal. It couldn't be more perfect. Save money for upgrade Dante, and we got Merchant of Steel and Removal. Non bus enemies get multi strike. Uh, this should be fine, right? This guy has sweep, by the way. Wow. He does have sweep. Where's my sweep when I need it? If I don't get my sweep, I'm dead. I don't, I'm not going to move everything, but blights are not that big of a deal because I draw past them. And I want to move most things because I want them to be from a shout target. This is rough, though. 
More cards will, yes, but at the same time, if I don't get my sweeper to kill these these little, it's gonna get out of control. And I don't have spikes right now. I got my sweeper. I've got my animus. Do I have space for my edge prior? Fuck. <laughs> uh, this is awkward. We need more pip space. I already mindful not to get too much Razor Sharp Edge from Dante because um, of the sweep guy. Ah, you want to die. True, 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 true. Man, I'm forgetting my own strategy. Upgrade blights. There's some artifacts that interact with blights. So blights can be upgraded in the sense that, like, the artifacts can make them stronger. Wait, the boss has sweep, though, right? Do they really want Dante to die like that, though? Because oh, I can't fit from a child anywhere. So from a child can only go to the top lane, and at that point, it's too late. So I can't bring Dante back anymore. I guess I can heal Dante. But he only does 55 damage. I think I should heal... Midley is more important. The hell, Mercury? Coming in and then leaving? Stay out. Just kidding, come back, please. How you doing, man? Well, that's a sweeper. Dante, you will have time later, okay? Just relax. Dante, it's okay. Taking on the trash, aka closing the stream. Okay, Mercury, you could just at me next time. Alright, dude? And we'll take it over to Discord. Meet me outside. Uh... Easiest 25 gold of my life, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 
Okay, but give quick to Dante? <laughs> give quick to Dante? But then we, then we don't get card draw though. But then we don't get card draw from Revenge. Howdy, I love YouTube content. Hey, Bowser, thank you, man. Glad you get to catch a stream. I'm glad you're here. Glad you like the YouTube content. We want Dante in top lane, not bottom. Because uh, you want he's gonna be rooted. Okay, fine. You know what? Log is correct. Guys, log is correct. Remove all debuffs. Um. Guys, I'm gonna change the title. The title is gonna be Jeremiah Builds Dex uh, Duo Stream with Lagia. Uh, this is a duo stream, guys. You gotta, you gotta get used to it. Ah. Alright, this is perfect, guys. We get removal and we get upgrades. It's huge. Uh, trinket shop. Oh, who cares? Who cares, right? Who cares? What does Dante want? Does he want large stone? I think yes. And then we get pip space. We get pip space and it's over, right? Yo! YouTube! Drop a like on this video. Wait, who wants Battlestone? Does he want a Battlestone as well? Or can he get something better? I can get like another multi trike right? I can s wait, when, when's the next... When's the next shop? Merchant of Steel and more removal? Oh my god! Holy shit! I guess we'll wait then, huh? So nothing on Battlestone then. Half the deck is Blades. Hey, listen. Child is useless. Child is useless. Yeah, it's true. Wait, we're not releasing old encasement, right? But he's kind of useful sometimes. I think we want pip space always, though. We always want pip space because pip space allows us to do more child things, more dread, more drag things. I think we always want pip space here. This girl has multi-strike and she has a uh, 1400 life. Just remember that, guys. But then Formless Child needs to have do some interaction because Dante's never going to die. So Formless Child needs to do some interaction with something, like th things here and there. I guess she can like bring back the stealth, the stealth dudes. Okay, she can bring back the stealth dudes. Fine. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Okay, my sweeper? Where's my sweeper? Oh, no. Not a good start. Wait, did I just put her here? Nah, we put sweeper in the bot lane for sure. Alright, not a very good opening hands, okay. But that animus is beefy. I love large stone. And yes, I do value pip space more now. Now that I've learned the game a little bit more. Alright, sweep right here. Boom. Enhance with razor sharp edge. Easy. Put you to the top and get rid of these. Bam, bam. And maybe put you right here for now because I want you out of my deck. You know, maybe I can put you in the back. Wait, what else wants to be in this lane? What wants to be in this lane? Edge prior and something else? We'll figure it out. Look at Dante. Boom. You ready? Wait. Wait. Uh. I fucked up. I'm 
Okay, this is um, um uh, just give me a second, guys. We'll, we'll jump back into it. No problem. No worries. I'm, I'm probably strong enough. If I can do this right here. To be honest. To be honest, I can probably just do this. Is a kill lane. Let's be honest. That's 183 damage. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at these thick boys. Thick boys and girls. Hell yeah. He doesn't need a tank. If I lose because I don't have a tank for Dante, I'm gonna be very sad. All right, make him big. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. If he dies, we form the shadow Dante. Yes, I realize it is random, but we really get the random chance and it's gonna go in our favor 100% of the time. Or your money back. Oh man, Engraft is so good with Edge Prior. It's so good. It's so good. Um, I actually just don't want to take this Pyre damage. I, I, as much as I want to play Wildwood, I'm just, I'm just going to do this. Where does From the Shaw want to go? From the wants to go in the, the bot lane. Once this dredge, Dreg dies. The best play is not to play anything at all. This is uh, written in Sun Tzu. I've learned well. The boss is taking some big damage. I want to get him quick though before the fight's over, right? So I'll take some power damage. The boss is getting chunked. Dude, a quick slay is so good in the bot lane. Look at it. 31 damage just handling everything. It's so good. Save my life. I just get out of my deck, whatever. I don't care about you. All right, can we do it? Dante's got it, baby. That's my boy. So we want pip space, yeah? Whoa. Wait. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. You can let Dante die, bring him back, and remove burnout. But it's like hard for me to make that work out. This is this would be good, okay? If I I have the card draw to make it consistent though. Throwing candles, I think so. I have the card draw to make this consistent. But like is Dante ever going to die, though? That's the question. Because then I can mold him and then do this. How is he going to die? I think I'm being, I'm, I'm being too much of a dreamer right now. 
I'm being too much of a dreamer right now. Like, yes, it would be cool to bring him back and then remove debuffs. Like, remove burnout, but... I guess for a YouTube video, it would be kind of cool, too. We have child for that. But, like, he's never going to die in the first place. Awoken's Rush Spike. It helps me draw things quicker. Do I like this, actually? Just so I can get into my stuff easier? I think Awoken's Rush Spike is pretty good. It allows me to also play heals in other lanes that are not just the edge prior lane because I can heal like different lanes. I like... I think Rush is fine. Give me the pip space. All right, guys. We got more removal, more upgrades. I mean, can we get any more perfect? Can this be any more beautiful? Do we want to end this child? What do you guys think? I mean, I feel like it's so hard to make child die, but now we have pip space so we can put it in the front and let it die. You guys want it? Yes. No one responded in Shaxa from Mephesto, so I'm going to take Mephesto's word as law here. Are we running out of unit upgrades? If so, there's one more. Wait, there's another removal in Merchant of Steel. Guys, this is, this is just too good to be true. This is too good to be true, man. This shit is too good to be true. Half my deck's blights. Okay. Consumables. All right. Awoken, Remnant, and Stygian. All right, guys. Take a look at the logbook. Our handy-dandy, trusty logbook like Blue's Clues. You guys remember Blue's Clues? Let's take a look. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. You guys... Deliberate, de deliberate. Channel song would be sick if it, if I get if I hit channel song on Dante. It's probably game over. But uh, one second. Wait, what if I wait? What if I swap Dante's health with his? Wait, what if I swap Dante's health? Wait. Okay, so we like some of the stuff from the Woken, right? What are the other options? Oh, I forgot. It's a Woken. Stygian and Melting Remnant, right? Okay, let's take a look at Melting Remnant. Okay, it's never this. It's never this. I could say that for a fact. And then what's the other one? Stygian. It's never Stygian. It's always Awoken. Guys, bless RNG. Bless RNG. Are you, are you shitting me right now? Are you disrespecting me on my stream right now? Anyways, so... It's not bad. Region's fine. I don't mind region. Whatever. It could be bloaty. I could take the gold, I guess. I mean, who I am. Entitled think I can get a rare randomly. That would be just the ultimate high roll. It's this is a, this is protect the pyre. This is save the pyre, slay the spire. Uh, Yen Yeni. It's a full game. It's a full game. Um, so it was not too early. The games there's still balancing as it goes. You know, as we play, we're balancing the game. But the game has a lot of features, man. A lot of content. Enemies enter with spell shield. I don't care about spell shield at all, right? I'm I'm like I smack you down with my units. I don't give a damn about spell shield. Does spell shield ever bother us? Let me think. We literally don't give a damn about spell shield. It's unbelievable how much we don't care about spell shield. It's incredible how much we don't care about spell shield. 
I could not care less about ancient hate. That's just free gold, baby. All right, Dante, where do you want to go? I kind of want him to die. But I also want to give him quick. Wait, this is a good start. All right, check this out. Look at this. This is just brutal. That's just not right. Wait, if I got the thing to swap his health and his life, guys? 53 times 5. Insane. If Dante ever dies, I can put him back in the... No! She's rooted. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, we're saved, boys. We're saved. Nah, it's not- the curses are not blights. I'm smiling- I'm- I'm only happy when I'm winning, guys. Look at me, I'm smiling. I'm only happy when I win. It's gross. This is gross. We haven't won yet, though. This guy in top lane is still doing some work. Just kidding. Oh, he has spell shield. Does this stop spell shield? That does, yeah? Yikes. Oh, but he's rooted. Sick. Do I want Dante to die? I kind of do, right? At the moment, at the moment, Form Shadow is not hitting anything. But is it better to play though? Because I draw I draw him again instead of something else. Yeah, we're beyond that, Adam. We're beyond that. I want this guy to die so I don't take damage but I think it's gonna happen anyways we take a little bit of pyro damage it's fine it's whatever we'll take a little bit of pyro damage I can't stop that pyro damage unfortunately we're taking 10 pyro damage Now, I think having Sensei in the bottom is, is too important for card draw. I think the card draw is too important. But Dante dies here. Dante dies here. Just kidding, he's alive. I should, I should save Dante, yeah? Alright, let's save Dante. From the start, it was just like a, it was a miss, you know. Oh. 
Damn, that's a big, that's a big old boy. Alright, speed this up. I think I need Child Undaunted behind Hollow. You think I need wait? You think I need um? I think I need child um behind Dante. On the second floor, you mean? And Gath is really good, yeah? It gives me uh just energy. And got this pretty good card. Mortal Entrapment. Days is strong, but it's an expensive spell. Okay. So let's take a look at the trinkets first, right? What, what, what do we remove at this point? Did we remove some of the heals? Or no? We hadn't, we hadn't, like, no other target. I think we removed some of the heals, right? There's, we're going to be drawing a lot of lights most of the time. The deck's pretty streamlined, man. Alright, let's take a look at the shops. Oh shit, we give Dante multi strike again. Okay. Versus Volatile Gauge. That's bad for me. These are kind of bad for me. I want to reroll once, but I do want to also. Can do I do I ever duplicate Dante here? This guy has so much multi strike; it's ridiculous. Let's reroll here. That house banner could be good. Let me purge other things now. I'm lagging a little bit. I'm dropping a little bit of frames right now. Gave 5 energy when a 2 unit dies. Wait, that's good for me. That's really good for me. That's a great relic. Except, what do I do with the energy? Nothing, right? If I need energy, that's an amazing energy relic. But I don't need energy. Wait, but doesn't the boss give me some blights? And I could use the energy to manage blights? So this is actually a good way to get energy. But I think she does give me blights, yeah? I don't know what else I want to do with my money. Like, I think that could be useful. And we re we have enough gold to reroll per uh, to 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 remove perfectly. Do we only have two restores in our deck? Wait. So did we remove one of the home units? Do we need two of them? We don't really need mold it anymore, right? We don't need mold it anymore. I think Moldic is bad now. And Moldic can save us though. Because we can we can start mold no, I think we don't need mold no, we don't need molded. This is perfect. We use all our gold perfectly. Okay, so what do we duplicate at this point? Wait, my dog has a shoe. Do we duplicate dead weight and make Dante have um seven multi strike? They've been going good, Keeks. Seven multi-strike? 
You guys want two Dantes? So I can put one top lane, one bot, one mid lane. But I'm I'm only gonna be scaling one. But it might be enough. Just like one top, one mid lane. We sh we shouldn't be able to lose, right? I find it really hard to lose if we have two Dantes. Let's go. Let's put it to the test. All right, man, quick sheeper, where are you at? There it is. Oh, what a perfect start. It's glorious. This Dark Wings is getting big, though. Dark Wings is getting large. Problematic. Wait. I have all this energy? Okay, awkward. I need card draw here. That guy being alive is a little bit awkward. There's Dante. Easy. Easy. Nice, nice, nice. What's up, Drake? How are you doing? Ember Drain's in effect. Now we need the energy because Ember Drain. Ember Drain's kicking my ass. Oh my god, playing a second unit was life saving. Alright, real spike. Ooh wee! When this thing dies, I can put another Dante in. I kind of want one Dante to die because I want to bring it back up from the shell. Because if I form the shell one Dante, guys, if I form the shell Dante, plus 40 strength is huge. I wonder if I let my edge prior die so I have a target for and this child. I wonder if I let him die. He's already dead. Never mind. But I wonder if I should let my guy die though, because I need targets for end this child. And I want to put the I want to if I give Dante plus forty strength, like I said, it's gonna be huge. I want to, I want to try to give him I want him to die once, but he has quick, so it's hard for him to die. So I don't know. It's a catch twenty two. Put Dante in the top lane though. Oh wait, look wait, where's all this Ember coming from? Holy shit! Because my Tome unit died. Okay. Look at this energy. Alright, I need Dante to die. But I also want to, like... Bring back more... I, can't, I guess I can scale up my Molten Encasements. I guess I could do that. I have so much energy, it's ridiculous. I don't know, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna let Edge Prior die, this is fine. Am I going to let Edge Prior die? Nah. Uh, you're from Southeast Asia, I'm live in the morning right now? Hey man, shout out to my Southeast Asians. Live in the morning.
I'll tell you what, I went to Thailand. Those people want to make you happy. I know I'm not talking about that kind of happy. But their, their, their motto is like, um... I'm, I'm getting this card drop for the sake of scaling units. Their motto is like, you know, creating happiness. And they're, and they're, you know, the way they carry themselves. At least that's what I, that's what I discovered. Wait, did we do enough? <laughs> Guys, did we do enough? <laughs> I need to perform a shot behind Dante here, right? Because the problem is, I. Guys, I think we're so fine, though. Like, we have so. We have three lanes. Every lane is a. Is a, is a uh, This does 90 damage. I think we're fine. Every lane's a threat. Probably, I should put it on Dante, my bad. We can't lose, guys. We can't lose. Wait, Dante has six six six. This is this is ominous. Hey, GG! Hey, Awoken Remnant, get out of here. You're done for. And just to rub it in their face. That's right. That's a 9523 molten encasement. That, that's damage. That is damage. Jesus, that's damage. GG. Boom. This dream is brought to you by Lagia in the in the chat. This is a, a Lagia duo. We were so close to finishing with 69 HP too. The video is ruined. That's a pretty good score. Hey, that's a pretty good score. Coming in rank 17, add another deadweight to your deck. I wish I had that before. I did this. Oh, we got a golden Dante.